Kessel Atufosin was leading a demonstration the other day, and uh, the governor has said something about the demonstration. We'll come to that. We'll come to what the governor said about the demonstration. But Kessel Atufosin here is a minority leader, and he's leading a demonstration about uh, Bank of Ghana. That's the latest that he's been in the news for this week. However, today, news has come out that he is on trial, you know. Uh, Case Lato Forsen is on trial for causing financial loss to the state. It's a matter that involves 2.7 million euros. It has to do with the ambulances. We know the trajectory of these ambulances. I mean, sometimes our politicians speak in, I don't know. Case Lato Forsen botched the ambulance situation. He completely botched it. That's what happened. It's not President Mohammed's fault. No, nothing to do with President Mohammed. It's not Professor Mills. Nothing to do with Professor Mills. It is Kessel Atufosin. He completely botched the whole ambulance that will kill people, that will uh, uh, cure people, that will save lives. He sat at the Ministry of Finance and he botched it. Then he has confidence to go on the streets and say, we are demanding. You are in court being tried for the ambulances. The ambulances never came. People unfortunately died until Akufado and Hawakumsin provided those ambulances each constituency got one and more. So we have 300 or so ambulances. Something that Kessel Atufosin could have done very easily in 2015. It is simple. Akufado and his team demonstrated that this ambulance thing is not rocket science. You are buying ambulances for the people of Ghana. You do X, Y, Z, and W, and it's done. Kessel Atufosin couldn't do it. He sat at the Ministry of Finance. He couldn't do it. And today he's talking because he thinks that we have forgotten He's enjoying himself that, oh, they have forgotten. If it's another country, do you know whether he'll be able to even speak? You had the taxpayer's confidence. The president of the republic made you a deputy minister of finance. You had the responsibility to bring ambulances to Ghanaians. You failed miserably to the point where you are being asked by the courts to deliver 2.7 million euro to the country because they say that you botched the ambulance process. And then you, same person. Now, many years, few years, not many, few years later, you come and lead a demonstration and tell somebody that I will not present a petition to you because he is enjoying the fact that we have forgotten. He's enjoying it. He thinks that we have forgotten. If anybody should lead the NDC demonstration, it should be somebody else. If anybody should lead the NDC demonstration about corruption, it should be somebody else. But can it be case Latu Forsen? How can it be case Latu Forsen? How? This is the man who sat on his desk at Ministry of Finance completely bosh the ambulance situation to the point where today he's agreeing that, oh, I'm sorry, I bossed it. I owe Ghana 2.7 million euro. I will pay. Not just him, he and the other accused persons. That they will pay the 2.7 million. They are offering to pay the 2.7 million. You are offering to, would they bring back the people who died? Those people whose life could have been saved by ambulances, but because Ghana didn't have ambulances, there was no access to ambulance because we were living like a Stone Age country. Every country has ambulance. Professor Mills said, ah, but why is it that Ghana we don't have enough ambulance? Look, let's get the ambulance thing working. Then Professor Mills passed. His government left. Atu Fossin came in. Come and do ambulance. You couldn't do it. How Akumsin, who you've been laughing at, was able to do it? You with your PhD, doctor, you couldn't do simple ambulance. This A plus X, Y, Z, W, port, come, there's fix. So doctors come, look at it, emergency services, simple thing like that. With your PhD, you couldn't do it. You are walking on the streets, shouting at governor. And then when governor says it's hooliganism, you are angry. I'll get to that. But Atu Fossey couldn't do it, oh, ambulance. <laughs> simple, um, PhD, PhD from KNUSD. That's where he learned his PhD, from KNUSD. And then you, you come with a PhD from KNUSD, you can't do ambulance. Simple matter. Uh, Setepe, the Honorable Setepe, his boss, was in court. The testimony Setepe gave in court, you should see it. Because the matter is still in court, we cannot value the testimony of, uh, 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 we cannot even evaluate the testimony of Setepe. But it's there. And we know, people who don't know, you know what Setepe said. In the court, his boss, are too forcing, you couldn't buy Ghanaian's ambulance to save our lives. You couldn't, in 2020, when there was an election, there was this actress, Jan C or something. She said she's not political, but the ambulance saved her sister's life. She said so. Many, 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 many multiple testimonies have come from the ambulance. Simple bring ambulance to Ghana. Atu Fossin couldn't do it. He was unable to do it. 
Is it that he doesn't understand? Is it that he doesn't know what to do? I don't know. Today, he's in court that this ambulance thing that you botched, we have to deal with it. Not just that they cost the country money, it cost the country lives. All the lives that have been saved by the ambulance, in all the circumstances and the occurrence, the sequence thereof, if you do an algorithm and put it back in 2014, you can tell the number of people who may have died. Atufosin kills them. Those people who died, Atufosin is the one who killed them. And then you come in, you are making noise as if you are a paragon of virtue, you have come from heaven. We, 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 Atu forcing. You, you couldn't give our people ambulance. So they died. They died in Brekum. They died in Labadi. They died in Walewale. They died in Tamale. They died all over the country. Because Atu forcing, he couldn't master the intellectual acumen to put an ambulance structure together so that we can have ambulance. How Akum Sin came and she did it. Atu Fosin goes to court today and says, oh, I'm sorry. This is after the BOG demonstration. Oh, I'm sorry. Ghana people, I'm sorry. Uh, 2.7 million. I will pay. Me and my partners will pay the money. After the state committed money through his signature, they couldn't deliver one ambulance. One. Zero. They couldn't deliver nothing. And today, Atu Fosin has the effrontery. You see, I'm not talking NDC and PPO. That's not NDC and PPO. It's about the people that we entrust responsibility with. Nothing to do. And some MPP, NDC people will agree with me. In fact, they do. Some of them I've spoken to, they do. That, ah, how couldn't we get the ambulance thing that Akufado must come and do it? They are worried. That, ah, this ambulance was a very simple matter. What happened? What happened? Our two forcing happened. The man doesn't know how to deliver a single ambulance. As minister of finance, he cannot deliver ambulance. He can't. He will incur debt. He will, he will cost the country money. The ambulance you won't get. Your money too you won't get. People will die. Then six years later, he's on the street leading a demonstration that BOG have gone to build the headquarters. The man through whose inaction, dereliction of duty, people potentially died. Him, Atu Fosin, he is now leading a demonstration that BOG have done something wrong. He is able to say somebody has done something wrong. Where in this world will this happen? Because he thinks that we have forgotten. He doesn't know that we are just busy. Life is hard. Things are difficult. So we are busy focusing on our lives. It's not that we have forgotten. Atu we haven't forgotten. No, we have not forgotten. That's your dereliction of duty. We haven't forgotten. Total dereliction of duty. Dereliction of duty. You think this can happen in England? In, in British democracy? You think this can happen? This will happen in America? This will happen even in Nigeria, in South Africa. You will sit down as a minister and you botch an ambulance contract, occasioning a debt of 2.7 million euros to the government. Six years later, you say, I'm a minority city leader. I'm coming to Bank of Ghana. I will not accept a proposal. Please, play the video. Atu Fosin and the, and the BOG demonstration. Play what he was saying. Play the Atu Fosin side. To disrespect us, we will not present our petition. We will go and come back again. We will come back here again. And we will come back and demand to see him in person. The crowd you've seen is just the beginning. We will come back again. And I assure you, trust me, we will come back again. He should better come in here. If he thinks that the IMF is more important than the Parliament of Ghana, if he thinks that the IMF is more important than the people of Ghana, he's here because of the people of Ghana and not IMF. So let him deal with IMF, but we'll come after him. We will. Did you see that? This is the man through whose dereliction of duty potentially Ghanaians have died. They couldn't reach the hospital. They died. They don't have car to go to hospital. They died. In the constituencies, they died. In the wards, they died. In the polling station areas, they died. In electoral areas, they died. Potentially. Because Kesela Tufosin was derelict in his duty. That is him talking. We we'll demand the governor. The governor should come. We we'll won't present a petition. Look at him. You will have killed Ghanaians. And I, oh my goodness, I don't really understand this. But we'll get there. Election is coming. As for this election season, it is an election season. We'll get there. And we'll remind them. We'll remind them one by one by one by one. That this is what you did. You can't come and talk. There's an account proverb, but there's a Ghana proverb that talks about these things. You can't talk. The message is as important as the messenger. You are too forcing you a messenger for corruption. Really? 
When did you become a messenger for corruption? Have you forgotten? Do you know how many, Do you think about people? Do you ask for forgiveness from God for the people you may have killed? I don't even understand it. I told Fosse to go and pray to God. Open his hands and say, oh God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I've been derelict in my duty. It will not happen again. That's what he should be doing. You have killed Ghanaians by your inactions. You have killed Ghanaians. And then you sit down there and say, you, you are going to demonstrate.